morning uh, welcome to another episode of mass tutorial today we are going to look on to our trigonometric identities and the trigonometric identities are equations that are only true for uh, right angle triangle uh, I have with me here right angle triangle with the hypotenuse which is always the longest side then the opposite side which is the opposite of our angle theta then the adjacent side which is also adjacent to our angle theta now we need to obtain this uh, for uh, times sine of this angle cosine of this angle tangent of this angle and uh, sine divided by cos of that angle so let's begin with the sine of angle sine theta is always opposite of that angle divided by the hypotenuse and opposite is y so I have y divided by the hypotenuse, which is r. Then the cotangent uh, cosine of that angle is uh, the adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and the adjacent is x, while the hypotenuse remains r. Tangent of this particular angle is the opposite uh, divided by the adjacent of that right angle triangle. So I have here y divided by x so what is sine of theta divided by cos of theta if you uh, consider this one as a sine of theta and this one as the cos of theta it means that sine of theta divided by cos of theta is the same thing as y divided by r divided by x divided by r which is y divided by r divided by uh, x divided by r x divided by r so r cancel r we only left it y divided by x but y divided by x if you look at it it is what tangent so it means that sine of theta divided by cos of theta is equal to the tangent of that angle so we need to secondly we need to obtain the reciprocal of these four terms. Reciprocal, it means 1 divided by sine theta, which is equal to... The, uh, the reciprocal of sine theta is now going to be r divided by y instead of y divided by r. So I have r divided by y. So again, we take the reciprocal of cosine, which is 1 divided by cos. And this is the same thing as r divided by x divided by x then for tangent if you take the reciprocal of tangent i have one divided by ta tangent which is the same thing as uh, um, x divided by y Sine divided by cos, if you take the reciprocal, it is the same thing as saying cos divided by sine, which is equal to 1 over tan. And 1 over tan is x divided by y. So the same thing, cos divided theta divided by sine theta is the same thing as 1 divided by tan theta. And uh, the general the general term used for sine inverse is cosecant the general term used for cos inverse is secant of theta and the general term used for uh, time inverse is cotangent of the angle theta and this one too is the same thing as cotangent of the angle theta. But Pythagoras rule says, Pythagoras rule says, hypotenuse squared, which is r squared, is equal to always equal to the opposite squared, which is y squared, plus the adjacent squared, which is x squared. Now, if we should divide this equation by r squared, 
we are going to have divided by r squared, divided by r squared, divided by r squared. Now r squared divided by r squared is equal to 1, which is equal to this. Now y squared divided by r squared is the same thing as uh, y divided by r squared plus x squared divided by r squared is the same thing as x divided by r squared. But y divided by r, we can obtain it here. y divided by r is sine theta. So y divided by r is sine theta squared, which is uh, sine squared theta plus x divided by r. We have x divided by r here as what cos theta. So cos theta is x divided by r squared, which is cos squared theta. So this is what the first identity. This is our first identity. We can obtain other identities from this particular one. We can say we can divide both sides by uh, sine squared theta so that we have 1 over sine squared theta equals to sine squared theta divided by uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta divided by sine squared theta. Now 1 over sine squared theta, we have 1 over sine here as what? Cosecant. So because of this square we have cosec squared theta equals to sine divided by sine all of them squared equals to 1 plus do we have cos over sine cos over sine which is cot theta but, but because of this square we have cot squared theta so now we have obtained the second identity and we can go straight uh, divide this equation by cos squared theta again to obtain another uh, trigonometric identity by saying 1 divided by cos squared theta which is equal to sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta plus cos squared theta divided by cos squared theta now 1 over cos, do we have 1 over cos? 1 over cos is sec theta, but because of this square we have sec squared theta, which is equal to sine over cos. Sine over cos, sine over cos is tan, but because of this square we have time squared theta plus cos squared theta divided by cos squared theta is equal to 1. So now we have obtained another trigonometric identity. There are many trigonometric identities, but for now we are going to stop at these three uh, trigonometric identities. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.